minutes and today I'm going to show you how to clean Beanie Babies. Okay, so these are all the Beanie Babies that I'm going to wash up. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to like organise them into like piles. So like I'm going to put like a pile of the ones that have like the tags. And I'm gonna put like another pile that the ones that don't have like the tags so that's what I'm gonna be doing okay so I have the two piles of Beanie Babies so these ones have the tags and these ones do not have the tags so now I'm gonna go and run the bath for the ones that do not have the tags so I'm gonna be using baby shampoo and hand soap to wash the Beanie Babies I usually use the baby shampoo to wash the guinea pigs but today we will be washing Beanie Babies so yeet and I will be using a sponge and I only need one of these but like they come in different colours so I had to show them so yeah. <laughs> so we have all of our tagless beanie babies ready. So now we can run the bath. So first I'm going to put like the plug in. I'm going to be putting a few pumps of this baby shampoo in before I put in the warm water. And we're going to be putting in some pumps of this hand soap as well. Okay, so now I'm running in the warm water. I haven't filled the entire tub because I didn't think it was necessary. And you can see that the water is all bubbly and ready to go to get Beanie Babies thrown in there. <laughs> but before I put in the Beanie Babies first, I need to check each and every one of them to make sure that none of them are damaged. Because one of them is bleeding beads and I still haven't figured out which one that is yet. So I'm going to be checking all these before I put them in the bath. So you just want to look around to see if there's any tears or anything or any leakages of beads. But luckily it seems like this one is in the clear. So you just want to do that with every single one of them just to make sure that none of them are damaged. So they will all be fine. Whee! <laughs> this one is really filthy so I can't wait to see what it turns out to look like after it's been all clean and everything. Look how nice the colours are, yay! Ah! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh this one's so cute! Ah! So now we have all of our Beanie Babies that are just chilling in the bath. But now we really need to get them like really in the water so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be squishing them down. <laughs> So the water can be distributed all around the Beanie Baby. And I do turn them around as well and kind of squish them down on the other side. So I'm just going to do that with all of them and make sure that you be kind of gentle because I don't want to like damage them in any way or anything. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing that with all of them. After I've finished squishing them all down, now I'm going to get some hand soap and some baby shampoo and I'm going to like squirt them all with it. <laughs> and the baby shampoo as well. I'm also going to put some pumps on the sponge and I'm going to pick up a beanie baby and I'm going to use the soft side of the sponge to cover it all in soap. I do squish it a bit and put it in some water so I know that the soap is going through the Beanie Baby. And I do dunk it in the water as well and I squish it down. Then once I think I've done enough then I can go on to the next Beanie Baby. Yay! Now I'm going to repeat this method onto the other Beanie Babies. Woo! I also put more soap and shampoo on the beanie as well if I need to. For the bigger beanies it is harder because they do get heavier with all the water weight. After I've done all that, the water has literally turned brown. <laughs> Ew. 
Now I'm gonna stir all of the beanies together because why not? <laughs> Now I'm just going to leave them to soak in the bath and I'm going to move on to the beanie babies that have tags. Yay! So I'm going to do the ones that have the tags in the sink and I'm going to prepare the sink like I did to the bath. So I'm going to put the plug in first, I'm going to put the baby shampoo in and the hand soap. Then I'm going to put on the hot tap and let the sink fill up. So now I have the sink filled up with warm bubbly water. I can now select a Beanie Baby ready to be washed, so I'm going to go for Mystic the Unicorn. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I did was, is I tried to remove the tag to prevent it from getting damaged, but it didn't work. I tried to push the plastic through the ear, but I didn't manage to do it, so that's a shame. Oh no. <laughs> so I had no choice but to try and prevent the tag from getting wet. I held where the tag was attached onto the Beanie Baby and then I dunked it into the sink and I tried my best not to get the tag wet. I did squish them in the sink to try and get the water through the Beanie Baby. Then I scrubbed them very gently with the sponge while always holding where the tag is so the tag won't get wet and it won't snap off. Then I'm going to squeeze out all of the soapy water then I'm going to leave it to one side. Then I'm going to do the same thing to all of the other Beanie Babies that have tags and remember to check if they're damaged before doing this and make sure to be very gentle as well. I'm not going to like wash these as like aggressively <laughs> and as intensely as I did to the ones with no tags because like these ones are like that they have tags and I don't want them to get damaged so I'm going to try my best to make sure that the tags don't get damaged. Okay, so as I was washing the clown bear, I noticed that the ink from like the outfit that they were wearing was like coming out and yeah. <laughs> so what I did was I immediately put them to one side without like squeezing all the water out because I'm not sure if I did that if it would like wash out all of the red ink. So yeah, <laughs> then I moved on to washing this bunny and they have this purple mark on the arm so I'm trying to get rid of that. So I tried to work the soap around that specific area. I'm just cleaning its legs. <laughs> but yeah, I just tried my best to clean it. This ostrich came with a piece of jewellery, so I'm just going to remove that. <laughs> Oh no, we lost our first tag. Oh, ugh. I'm gonna try and fix it later. Now we're onto the final Beanie Baby, so yay! <laughs> so now that the Beanie Babies have all had a bath, now we can get rid of the bath water and the sink water. <laughs> Now I'm just going to get rid of all of the suds using my shower head. You can use a jug or a bowl of water to do this but I have a shower head so I'm going to use a shower head. <laughs> and I'm going to get rid of all of the suds on the Beanie Babies as well using the shower head and I'm still using warm water. When I'm finished I'm going to try and squeeze out all of the water, as much water as I possibly can. And with the bigger beanies they do have quite some weight to them when they have like water inside of them. So it does make you do like some weightlifting and some exercise for today as well. <laughs> and when you're done you can put them over to one side and they look so depressed. <laughs> and I'm going to do that to all of the other Beanie Babies as well. So I'm going to wash all of the soap out of them and put them to one side. Okay, so it looks like the dye from the clown bear's costume has got onto the rabbit because I didn't change the water. Ah! <laughs> Since this is a big beanie baby, I'm going to use the shower head to get rid of all of this soap and hopefully all of the dye as well. And it seems to be working. Yay! <laughs> Unfortunately, the tag fell off. No! So now I'm going to put them over where the tagless beanies are. Oh, the 
cuckoo a thing. <laughs> Depression corner, there it is. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna rinse off all of the tag beanie babies using the sink tap. Okay, so it's time for the clown bear. Eek. <laughs> I wonder if you can, oh. Wow, okay, so you can take off the costume. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so I took off the clown costume. Now I'm washing out the ink out of the actual bear <laughs> because the ink from the costume got on the actual bear when I washed it the first time with the costume on. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get out all of the ink from the bear. <laughs> And ta-da! <laughs> so for the costume, I'm gonna use cold water to wash out some of the soap because I think like it washes out less than the warm water, so I'm gonna use the cold water. So yeah. Oh, look at all the ink! Oh no! <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna leave that to one side. Now it's time to get these beanie babies dry. Okay, so I got this big towel to put the tagless beanie babies on. And I got this smaller towel to put the ones that have tags on. So yeah, let's get them dry. Okay, so I put the tagless beanie babies on the big towel. And if they still have any excess water, try your best to squeeze it all out. So I'm just hanging them back over the bath just to try and squeeze all the water out. Then I just put them back on the towel with the other beanie babies. Then I just do the same with the others. So now I just line them all up on the towel so they're not piled on top of each other. So now I'm going to get the corner of the towel and I'm going to squish the beanie babies to try and absorb more of the water out of them. But the best sort of towel to use is this cotton towel because cotton absorbs more and it's more gentle. This is actually a baby blanket that I'm using but if you don't have a baby blanket you can just use a t-shirt because they are usually made out of cotton and they will absorb water just as well. But it's okay if you just want to use the towel, it's just that cotton fabrics work better at absorbing water. I will use the cotton blanket for the tagged beanie babies. So yeah. <laughs> so I found out that Mandy the panda is the one that's losing the beads from their foot. Okay, so for now I'm just going to set them over to one side away from all the other beanie babies. So I will be repairing them and sewing them up and putting the beads back in the foot of course. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the beads back in the foot and then I'm going to sew them up and then they can join the tagged beanie babies to be dry. So now I can start to dry the tagged beanie babies. So I'm going to dry them the same way as I dried the tagless beanie babies. So I'm just going to squish them using my baby blanket to try and absorb much water out as I possibly can. So then after I've done all that I can now start to wrap them all up. So I'm going to wrap them all up in the towel so they can be ready to go downstairs. So now they're both wrapped up in towels, so now they're both ready to go downstairs. So I just put them on this clothes rack for now because the radiators are full. But I am going to put these on the radiator tomorrow. And I've also hung up the clown clothes as well. But yeah, I'm going to put these on the radiator tomorrow because it is getting quite dark outside now. So I'm going to continue this on tomorrow. But in the meantime, I can fix up Mandy so they can join the other Beanie Babies. And with the tags that did fall off, I'm going to leave them open so they don't dry shut. Okay, so update, some of the Beanie Babies have made it onto the radiator now. And we have Floppity here. And they are crushing Mandy. <laughs> but I think Mandy is doing okay. They have repaired very well and their tag hasn't even fell off. So that is good. Oh, and just look at them. <laughs> They've repaired really well. But yeah, I'm just putting them all on the radiator now so they can dry fully. So we'll be back when they've all dried. Hey, we're back and all the Beanie Babies are dry. Hurrah! So these are all of our tag survivors, including Mandy. Yay! And these are the ones that don't have any tags and they look great. And these are the ones that had the tags broken off, but I managed to fix them. So yay! So I fixed the tags back on by using sewing glue and I also used a cotton bud. So what I did was I put the tag back around the plastic and then I got the cotton bud and I dabbed it with the sewing glue and then I let it to dry. 
So now they all look as good as new again, well kind of, but at least they got the tags back on and that is really all that matters to me. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished making these two all soft and fluffy because they were gristly and rough before. I did make a mini video on how I did that, so if you want to see it, click the link in the description box. I just basically used a toothbrush to brush out the fur of the Beanie Babies. I usually use this toothbrush to brush out doll hair and pony hair, but it's also useful to get things soft and fluffy again. But yeah, if you want to see the video that I made on making these two soft and fluffy again, please click the link in the description box below. So that is it for this video, I hope it was helpful if you have any Beanie Babies that need some TLC. All of my Beanie Babies are all clean, fresh and fluffy now, and they're all just happy little Beanie Babies, just living their little Beanie Baby lives. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching, and bye!